Okay, so here we have Alex Kidd in Miracle World for the Sega Master System. So, let's start. Uh, so, this is considered uh, one of the best games, if not the best game, for the Sega Master System. Uh, Alex Kidd was actually Sega's mascot before Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> came along. Before Sonic, this was the go-to guy for Sega. Although they didn't have a lot of hit titles uh, with this character, this is probably the best known, the most famous game. It's a wonderful plot platformer. Uh, it's supposed to be the equivalent of Mario for those who grew up with Nintendo. Uh, it's not exactly the same. In many aspects, it's much better. But, of course, if you grew up with Nintendo, you probably disagree. <laughs> uh, so you... Uh, what just happened is there's a ghost. Uh, if you uh, open those blocks, sometimes you get uh, a ghost will appear, and it'll come up and kill you. So if you break the blocks with the stars, which usually have which have money in it, they disappear. So break two of them, and the ghost goes away. Uh, but anyway, so as I was comparing it to uh, Mario, well. One, uh, right off the bat, the difference you can tell is, uh, whereas Mario, you only move to the right, basically, uh, sometimes to the left, and there's some hidden areas up top, or some clouds, or whatever. Here you can tell that on the first level, we're doing something different. We're scrolling down, we're going down this mountain. So... In, uh, in this aspect, it's already a more complex platformer than Mario is. Uh, many will argue that the uh, Mario music is much more iconic. I probably have to agree with that, but uh, I grew up with this game, so this is my Mario, <laughs> uh, and. Uh, I love this game. So, already we have a water level going on, so it's part of the first level. And this was actually my third game. The third game that I got for my Sega Master System. <laughs> uh, I also saw this at a, uh, as a, at a cousin, at a cousin of mine's house. Uh, who was having his birthday party, and uh, they had the TV out, and they were playing this game. And I was really taken by it. I said, oh, this is the next game I want. <laughs> I had gotten Black Belt, which was the first one that came with the, that I, my dad got for me, along with the system. Because the system had uh, two games built into it. It's uh, Hang On, which is a, a motorcycle racing game. And there was uh, one for with the with the light gun, with the light phaser pistol, as they call it. Uh, but since I didn't have the pistol, I didn't have the light gun for the system. Uh, I could only play Hang On. But my dad got uh, the same day he got the the system. Uh, he got me this game, Black Belt. So it was the first game. And actually, uh, just a moment. This was the first screen I've ever seen for this game. When I got to the birthday party, they was they were pl playing this very level here with the motorcycle. Uh, as a kid, I used to go over the the thing, but now I used, usually go underneath those, get the the money bags. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, I was saying that this was the third game. So I got Black Belt. Uh, the second game I got, I asked for was Ghostbusters. <laughs> it was kind of a disappointment. It's not as bad as the Nintendo version, but it's not a, that good a game. Uh, and then, then came Alex Kidd, which was, uh, for as long as I had the the Master System, was my favorite game. Of course, I, I gotten other games. Uh, so here we have. Uh, let me stop for a while. This is a uh, rock paper scissors. It's not random. If you choose correctly, 
you always uh, get it right. So you can memorize it. So now I know I have to choose uh, scissors. So if you put on the wrong combination, then the the following combinations will change. But if you keep doing it right, they'll do. Uh, they'll always have the same combination. So you can memorize it. Uh, it's not a mu much of a traditional boss fight, but it's it's interesting enough. This was one of my first games I played, so I don't find it too weird. Uh, maybe because of that. So here we have an extra extra life, one up. Uh, here's the thing: you can actually uh, play this level regularly. Uh, you can go move uh, to the right, move forward with the game. But what I usually uh, do is a trick. I think most people who play this game are familiar with it. Uh, you don't even need the invincibility, but with the invincibility, it's easier. So uh, uh, I could try to beat the octopus without it, but it's much easier. So to, you touch the D-pad twice, and you go through this secret passage, and you go to a secret level, which uh, has a lot of cash <laughs> and an extra life. So it's a good thing to do this because uh, you get all this sweet, sweet money. But as I was saying, uh, this was my third game, and it's still to this very day one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, people used to say this game was was difficult, was hard, but it, it really is not. It's not. It's not that hard at all. I remember there was there's a trick here that you can do, but I, I forget exactly what it is. Uh, trying to remember. I'm not sure. If, I think if you punched something in the air, I, I forget. Oh shit, I, just, I did something stupid now. I usually go over the, the thing, but now I, th I think I'm not going to be able to. Oh, damn it. Why did I do that? <laughs> I was trying to do the trick, but I probably... It's not that trick. I don't know. I forget. Oh, come on. I really wanted to climb up there. Okay, never mind. Okay. So, as I was saying, this game is not that hard at all. So, compared to, especially with Nintendo titles, uh, this game is is quite is quite beatable. Uh, I was one of the first uh, kids that I knew that beat this game, to beat this game. I was actually quite proud of the achievement at the time. This, It was really, people would say they would get stuck in the castle level, uh, show it what it is later, but yeah. I seem to do fine with the game. I'm a bit out of practice, so I'm not doing as well as I as I usually do. But still, it's just fine. This part uh, is actually kind of tough. It might be. So what I'm trying to do here is just oh, okay. So, but this is what I usually used to do as a kid. I used to make the the block there just slightly appearing so you can jump on it and stand on it oh come on I'm, I'm not I'm not doing very well with the jumps I have to get used to them again cuz okay I think I'm okay now oh Jesus So this is the regular level, that's uh, supposed to be level 3, but since we did the, 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 the secret level thing, 
but this is almost like level four. And here we have uh, Saint Nunari, I think it's, uh, they call it in the in the in the game in the manual. All right, so it's quite a long text. I'm not gonna read it. Here we have our famous pedicopter. Uh, you actually don't even need to get it because when you start the next level, you're gonna be equipped with it no matter what. So, uh, so right now you can tell it already has much more variety than the first Mario game because you have all this equipment, you have this, these items that you can purchase. Uh, but enough comparisons with Mario. This is Alex Kidd. It's, it's his own thing. I, I don't. I don't quite even agree when people say that this is the uh, equivalent of Mario for the Master System because uh, I don't see it quite like that. Because I think it's uh, the, the game is, is his own thing. It, it stands on its own. It's not. It's not a knockoff. It's not. It doesn't try to be Mario. Uh, you don't jump on on the enemies. You, you, you punch them, which makes more sense. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so here we have this flying level with with the helicopter. If you hit, if the propellers, if you hit, uh, if you bump into one of these rocks, uh, I don't know these red blocks, <laughs> uh, red balls, <laughs> with the propeller, you will fall in the water. And there's no problem. You can, you don't uh, lose any lives. Uh, but you also uh, you don't get to pick up all this this extra cash. Oh, see, I did I did I did something stupid there. Oh, but I, but I was at the end anyway, so <laughs> it wasn't that much of a of a loss. Uh, it's really nice I got to show you then what what, what happens. <laughs> In other levels. Uh, so I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy an extra life here. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I had to sneeze here. This this thing with an A. He uh, let's go. A bunch of, of little guys, like little versions of Alex Kidd, to defeat an enemy. It's not that useful, but uh, well, I have I have enough cash, so I'm gonna buy it anyway. I'm, as you can see, I'm buying uh, the pedicopter again to do this level. Uh, it's not necessary, but uh, without it, uh, it's longer, and you don't get to collect all this money that's uh, on top of the screen because you are not able to fly. So I, I think it's very useful to get the pedicopter here. Most people do it, uh, so it's, I really recommend it. There's actually a, a glitch that we can do here at this point with this uh, with this scorpion, <laughs> which uh, always uh, it never gets old for me. <laughs> it's always fun. See, <laughs> it's like going ape shit. Oh, I was going to uh, destroy the block underneath it, and it floats in the air. Oh, come on! I, I just never mind. So it's a it's a silly glitch, but I always like to do it. Uh, anyway. This, uh... So, as I was saying before, uh, I got this game back in 1990. It was one of my first games for the Master System, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, it took me maybe two months, uh, to beat it. And, uh, I replayed it. I played this game a lot, over and over, and as I said, it's still one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time, actually. I must say, it might probably be my favorite game of all time. Uh, I can't think of any, any any other game that I I would put on that category, even though I don't play it as much, and it's, uh, it's an old 8-bit game, but... Uh, Mike Matei always says that Zelda is his favorite game of all time, and I don't really see it, so must have. Uh, 
Here we have this bull. Fight in the bull. Not hard at all, just keep punching. So, uh, yeah, if you grew up with Zelda, which I didn't, uh, you probably might find it still uh, a fun game. I don't think... I've played Zelda, I've beaten Zelda, uh, but I don't think it holds up as well as Alex Kidd does. I think the, the graphics are not, are, not, are not as good, um, the gameplay is not as fun. Um, I don't know. I think the music is quite iconic. I really like it. But the game itself, I don't think it aged very well. So, uh, so if Mike Matei can say that Zelda is his favorite game, I get to say that probably Alex Kidd is my favorite game of all time. Uh, oh, I did something stupid there. I'm gonna probably... Uh, I'm not going to be able to collect that. Am I? I don't know. Let's see. No. I lost one of them. Oh, fuck. I hope I don't lose two. Oh, yeah. See, I'm not able to break this, so... Yeah. Never mind. It's only money. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Is there a ghost in here? No, I think... Is it? Oh... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the screen a little bit, so if there is a ghost, I'm, I'm able to make it disappear. Oh, okay. It's the bracelet. So, this bracelet shoots. Uh, you get to shoot. Uh, I'm going to select it so you guys can see it. Uh, what it does. Because there's one up ahead anyway, so I might as well use it. So, you shoot like this fire. Uh... Thing, uh, out of your hand, so it's quite useful. What, this thing I just collected here—it's a—it's a stone that allows you to see what the what the enemies are thinking. Uh, the enemies, I, I say, the bosses, like the one with the rock paper scissors. So you get to see what they're thinking. It's—I don't even need it because uh, I know I memorized the. <laughs> the combinations, but in case I screw up, it's always nice to have it. I'm pretty sure there's a ghost here, but I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break this block anyway, because if I do, the next one up top, with the with the question mark also, will have an extra life. If I don't break it, then the other one has a ghost, so this is how it works. So, let's go on, and now I get an extra Alex kid here. One up. Uh, I've been pretty good. I haven't died once yet. Let's keep it this way. Uh, so, okay. Uh, this level, uh, if you notice at the beginning of the level, the, 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 the formation with the rocks, they kind of, they sort of uh, make a number seven they're shaped like the number seven and this is not level seven uh, if you play it regularly it's level seven if you use if you count the secret level we played so yeah maybe it is level seven so this is a cave we're just going out of the cave but the guy's blocking the path scissors hand uh, second henchman of the king blah, blah, blah. okay so let's beat him uh, this one is a, a pretty neat uh, trick uh, you have to put uh, the one that's going to lose. For example, now I'm, I'm, I'm holding scissors, which loses to rock, but he changes right at the last minute. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is how I remember it. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put paper, because it's losing to scissors. He's going to change it at the last minute. Rock. And so I win. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... And here comes... Well, this is my favorite level and my, and my least favorite level, both at the same time. <laughs> Why do I say that? Because it's probably the most difficult level in the game. But it's the prettiest level to look at. I mean, the bright green forest, uh, 
So I got the motorcycle. I didn't used to uh, get the motorcycle when I was a kid. Uh, I used to do it this without the motorcycle. I'm gonna get this cane. This cane makes you fly. So uh, it's not necessary 100%, but at the at the castle, the last castle level, there's a, a, a moment where it's, it's very useful. So I'm gonna get it. Okay, so this level, uh, I actually, I'm going to pause it just to tell a, a quick story. Uh, okay, so I have nine lives. I have these items. Uh, this level was responsible for, for my losing, for me losing uh, a tournament <laughs> that I entered as a kid. That was a video game tournament. And uh, the game they, they played, that was being played at the qualifying level, was Alex Kidd. It was this game. And uh, the thing is, this level, I died so many times here because I was trying to play it normal. And uh, I, was, I was doing better than any of the other kids. I was ahead. I, uh, 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 I was the one that was uh, farther ahead in the game. But uh, I did something stupid here because I was playing the game like you normally play it. Uh, and I wasn't playing, uh, and I should be playing, uh, thinking about the score. And uh, this level, there's these monkeys, you're gonna see. They're worth quite a bit of points. And I just was just playing normal. And uh, there was this other kid, who was, apparently was smarter than me for, for, for noticing, uh, to use the, the flying cane, this cane here, to kill the monkeys on top. So, he, he ended up just by a fraction, like, like 20. Or, or something like this, points, he beat me on the qualifying round. I was so upset, because I was doing much better than him. And just for this tiny thing he did, uh, and I was just playing the game as I was, I would normally play, just trying to beat it, uh, and see the monkeys there. So, yeah, so I was doing much better, but as far as the score, I messed up. Okay, so this is the, f the the end boss. Looks very intimidating, but it's oh shit! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. He looks intimidating. He's quite easy. It's just you just punch him, and he dies. There's nothing there. I just uh, I lost my first life. I just I pat pressed the wrong button. Uh, okay, I never was able to uh, beat this level as a kid. Uh, I was always uh, go into the water. So if you crash the the, the speedboat, <laughs> you go in the water and you do a, a the level as a water level. But I'm gonna try to to get to the end here. So uh, believe me, as a kid, this level was I was. It was very hard for me. It might not look so right now, but see? It actually looks kind of easy now. <laughs> or maybe I made it look easy. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm full of myself right now. But yeah, so I was able to do it. Another level that you can do with a pedicopter, and this I really recommend it. So here we have the, the invisibility powder. You have this uh, letter B, which has a, a shield. It also makes you invincible, and you get to kill the enemies, uh, but you, 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 you can't punch while you're using it. And the pedicopter. I'll try to do the glitch uh, this time again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, damn it! My last chance to do the glitch. Not gonna fail this time. Oh, there he goes, floating in the air. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, okay, do this. Storm clouds. Gotta be careful here not to lose the pedicopter because it's very useful to have it. Uh, this level can be quite tough without it. After this level is the castle. Uh, it's uh, Redaction Castle, if I'm not mistaken. remember all these names so 
Oh shit! Oh man! The controller, it kind of got stuck a little bit. I, I pressed the, it, and it, it stuck, got stuck. Oh man. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. Damn it. Oh man. Okay, so I just made my life a lot hard, uh, a lot more difficult now. Because I'm gonna have to. So I have, uh, I have options here. I can either use uh, one of my power-ups, so the, the invisibility, or, or the, or the B. Oh, come on! This, I pressed the button again. It's getting stuck. Uh, the the, the D-pad is not very good in my, on my controller right right now. Oh shit! Oh, I'm sucking at this right now. Just, uh, just threw up my concentration. Oh shit! How many? Seven? Okay, I'm pretty I'm pretty sad so far. Damn it. Okay. This part is hard, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Ah! Oh, fuck. Lost too many lives on this level. I really I really lost concentration here. Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh so this is Paperhead, it's uh, I think it's part plan, it's called the manual, I don't know what it means, but, so, I think it's, oh, sorry, it's uh, it's rock and scissors, yes. Okay, enough making my life, my life tough. Darn it, I lose. Yeah, I win. Okay, <laughs> so here we have the castle. This is the level uh, that some kids said that gets they would get stuck in. They wouldn't wouldn't be able to beat it. So and this kid was older than me, and he was never able to beat this level, or at least <laughs> by the time we were speaking. Uh, and when I said I beat the level, and so what? <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, one of the places I used to use the cane, the flying cane, was this this part here. I would. But uh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna try to do it legit without any power ups. Let's see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So the cane is not really necessary. You you you, you have the option of buying it uh, also later. Uh, so I would use the first one here, and the second one I would use the uh, at the last castle level, the hidden castle. So here, what you do is uh, I'm gonna try to jump over this. This hole here, I don't want to fall here. So let me concentrate. Alex's brother is being held prisoner at this castle. If you remember, one of the one of the texts, uh, one of the one of the uh, end level characters said, if I'm not mistaken, says that he's been held here. So uh, what you can do you, if you free him. You, a letter will appear in one of the rooms of the castle, and you get this letter, and uh, the king in the next castle will give you the a stone with uh, the code for the final final moment of the game, where you have to jump on the rocks uh, and, and punch in this code so the crown will appear and you can finish the game so there's there it is there he is his brother in the cage just punch one of each of these blocks and one, one of each and he will be free
Yes, the Moonlight Stone says, oh, okay, I'm gonna read this one. So, thank you, Alex, the Moonlight Stone is in the Nimbana Kingdom. So I must reach there before Jenkin the Great does, before Jenkin the Great does. An autograph letter addressed to the Nimbana Kingdom is hidden somewhere in this castle. After finding it, take it with you. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> There's a ghost there. I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna go get the letter and beat the level. So. Uh, I like. I mean, some people might prefer Nintendo. Ooh! Oh, shit. No, 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 come on. I have to concentrate here. Come on. I'm, I'm losing too many lives. Six. Okay. So, let me just make it through these. Make it past these. Fires. Oops. Oops. Oh, sh oh come on. The control is kind of slippery. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was I was going to say something about. Uh, oh, come on. Oh shit. Uh, make a little comparison between Sega games and Nintendo games. Uh, Sega games are mo much more. Oh, come on. Uh, arcade style. I'm not gonna take any chances in case that controller uh, control slips a little bit. Uh, can keep on dying. Okay. Oh, come on. Ah, shit! Ah! Why am I sucking at this right now? It's the D-pad. It's no good. I have to buy a new controller. I'm not trying to make excuses. It really is. It kind of, it's getting stuck sometimes. And when the, the controller is kind of slippery, as in this game it kind of is, and it, it fucks you up real good. So there's the ladder. Uh, if you don't get this ladder, there's no problem. I know the combination. As uh, Sun Moon... Uh, Sun Moon Wave... I forget right now. <laughs> so it's a good thing I'm getting the ladder. I was trying to say what the combination was, and I I realized I forgot. So, never mind. I'll probably remember it by the time I get there. So, uh, I was saying Sega games are much more arcade style, in the sense that you you can beat it. So, uh, okay, so ha, ha, uh, just a second. Uh, uh, this As a kid, I would use the the shield at this point. I have four lives. I could probably use it. It's not necessary. I'm just uh Ah okay. Never uh, okay I'm done. I'm done trying to be a hero here. I'm just gonna use the, the shield. Three lives? No, that's that's it's ridiculous. The last time I beat this game I, I beat it with ten lives or so. What's wrong with me? <laughs> when I'm trying to record a playthrough of the game and I, I'm really sucking at this. <sighs> okay, so... We have uh, the second time the, this guy appeared. This time there's a fight. It's not only... Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, I have to go rock rock. It's paper paper! Oh shit! It's not rock rock, it's paper paper. Now I've, I've, I've fucked everything up. Oh man. Seriously? Seriously. Oh Jesus. Oh come on. Um, I, I don't know what hap what's happening to me. I don't know what to do here. I think. Um, fuck. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Okay. 
so I got lucky here but I'm totally screwed for the rest of the game I don't know the combinations anymore it's all out the window now it was supposed to be paper paper and I put rock rock yeah I, I thought rock 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 would be the next one I'm totally sucking at this I don't know why so anyway I caught a break at least I didn't lose any lives because if you lose on the, on the rock paper thing it turns into stone and you lose a life and you, and you die so okay uh, but I can do it I like a good challenge so now we get to really have a boss fight sort of no ooh, almost died there Okay, so this is level. This level is pretty short. Uh, we have another boss fight. So I have an extra, an extra life here that I can buy. One up. That's good. Uh, we have the. So I got it back. This is the <laughs> the slide. Uh, I don't know why I did it. I used to have a lot of trouble trying to do that as a kid. It was very hard. Uh, it's kind of hard to do, but after you get the hang of it, it's okay. So, pretty short level, reduction town, and now we have uh, another fight for this guy. Now it was supposed to be Rock Rock. I don't know right now. I'm just I'm gonna try to use the good thing I got the stone to reach mines. Oh. It's a draw. You sure lucked out. Oh, come on. Alright, so, you have to have good reflexes now. It was supposed to be a cakewalk, now it's become difficult. Okay, so, alright, I beat it. I beat him. Uh, so now, be careful, because of all three, this is the one that's a, a little more difficult, because he shoots. Alright. One more level now with the helicopter. Uh, actually, it makes an appearance on uh, Sega All Stars for the for the uh, Nintendo Wii. I'm pretty sure there's a version for for the Xbox also. I, I, I don't know. So it's one of the un you can unlock. It's one of the unlockables. And his power-up is the pedicopter uh, on, on the game, and so it was really fun to see the pedicopter again. And this is it, on the original... The original pedicopter. What the fuck? Alright. So I've been trying to compare this, these <laughs> systems, uh, I was, and I wasn't able to because I, I was really sucking. But okay, so I was saying that the Sega games, they are a lot more like uh, arcade that you can beat on one sitting. Nintendo tended to have games that were way longer. And you use passwords to come back to the game and save features. Uh, I appreciate that. Here's the king. I always thought it sort of looked like a cat to me. Doesn't it look like a cat? <laughs> well, so here's the, the stone. The stone slab that has the, the coal. Uh, so if you select it, you can see what the coal is. So the coal is, and it's written backwards because it's Japanese. <laughs> so it's sun, wave, moon, stars, sun, moon, wave, fish, starfish. Yeah. I remember this combination. I sort of forgot. I has sort of forgotten, but... You need this combination at the end of the game. So Nintendo games tended to be and to be longer, and you had to uh, go back to it. But I like games that you can beat on one sitting. 
I didn't use the cane, did I? No. So all I need to get now is a motorcycle. I didn't use to get the motorcycle as a kid. I used to do this level without it. But uh, later, I, I decided to use it. I think it's quite useful. I have an extra light here. Okay, I got it. So, uh, here we have, again, Paperhead, I think it's Part Plan is the name in the, in the manual. So once again I have to be careful now because I don't have the, combina the combination. He was supposed to be uh, Rock Scissors, but now I have no idea. Try to be careful here. And I made it difficult for myself, didn't I? Okay, so... Okay, managed to draw. I should tie with him, hit a draw now, let's see. Alright! <laughs> I'm really lucking out. <laughs> Usually when I screw up the, the thing, I, I lose a few lives. So here's the trick, you just stand at the edge, uh, by the edge of the screen and punch. And that's it. So this is the final castle, where you meet the final boss. There's a glitch here that you can do, but I, I forget and I'm not going to do it because it screws up the game. Uh, so this is the last castle. This is the most difficult level. It's not the last level because there's a level after that. But uh, this is where you get meet the final boss. So the, the final boss, you beat the final boss, you don't beat the game. It's another original thing uh, for from Alex Kidd in Miracle World. You, you, you get to play further into the level and so you can get the crown. So, but this is the, it's the hardest level, it's the longest level, it's where you meet the final boss. So, I've been playing this game for some 40 minutes, I'm almost done with it. So, I like Sega games like this. A lot of people, a lot of people who grew up with Nintendo, spe uh, specifically, would disagree. Say, oh, I want to get my money's worth for the game, so I want to, I want the game to be longer. But I disagree. I think, I think it's a lot of fun. It's a game that you can play over and over again. Uh, I've been playing this game for, oh shit, man, again. You see how the, the, the jump sort of hung in the air there? It was the D-pad. It faltered in the air. I, I'm not trying to make excuses. It's really pissing me off, really. But anyway. So... I think there, there there's uh, room for every kind of games. Games that are longer, that you can just password, save features like Zelda. But I, I'm very fond of games that you can beat on one sitting as well. Uh, basically, arcade games are like that because <laughs> you're not gonna punch in a password on an arcade game so you can come back another day to finish it. So, those are games that you can finish if you have enough coins. <laughs> you can finish it on one go. And most Sega games are like that. Uh, there is a glitch here. N not a glitch, uh, not a glitch, a cheat here. So as a kid I didn't know about that, so I would never get these here. Here I think we have a ghost. So let me run from it. Uh, 
So you punch this and the, the thing appears. What? It didn't appear? Well, it doesn't matter. I just jump over this. <clears throat> you don't need the blocks. Okay, here, a few tricky jump, uh, tricky jumps. Gotta be careful since the D-pad is acting up, so I'm gonna be extra careful now. <clears throat> All right. This level is very com complex. It doesn't have a lot of enemies like Mario. Enemies all over the place. Uh, another thing that Nintendo does, it's a, like a, a trademark almost for Nintendo games. They used to make it... I think Nintendo was too concerned about uh, making their games difficult to beat. So they would make them longer. They would make them difficult. So it's like... As, as, as if people were really concerned about that. Oh, I spent 50 bucks on a game, so it might as well be very difficult and very long, so it take take a long time for me to complete it. I don't think people were concerned about that at all. But apparently Nintendo was, because that's exactly what they... Oh, shit. Uh, that was exactly their strategy. Make them long and difficult. <laughs> and Sega was my, so in many aspects. In many, in many aspects, I'm glad uh, the Master System uh, was my transition to the 8-bit era because games are much more forgiving. Nintendo games are merciless. <laughs> I don't know how kids were able to beat those back in the day. Things like Silver Surfer. Jesus. Back to the Future. What the hell is that? So here, uh, there's something that uh, I can fall in the water and do it the hard way. But since I've been, I'm running out of lives. Actually, I'm, I have five. It's good. Enough. I'm gonna do uh, as I did as a kid. So I'm gonna use the flying cane. It's also a shortcut. Uh, so it's quite helpful here. So since I use the stairs, uh, the ladder, I I lost the power of flight apparently. Even though the power ups seem to be going on. Uh, again, this is something that it's not necessary. You, you you can do without it. But as a kid, I used to uh, use this, so I'm gonna use it again here. Oh, what? Okay. So I can't punch when I'm inside the shield. So what I used to do is just kill time killing this frog. <laughs> For some reason, I've always found that to be fun. All right. So we're approaching the final boss. Jenkin the Great. Uh, usually, if you're following the combinations, it's uh, paper, paper. Now I have no idea. I'm gonna try my best here. Oh, shit. Oh man. Okay, so we're tied. X O. It's draw. It changes right at the last minute. It's almost impossible to do it by reflex. So I'm gonna try to do it by luck. Okay, I did it! <laughs> I'm actually kind of lucky today. Okay, so now I'm, I'm just gonna beat him because he's gonna start shooting. Uh, so I run forward, get very close to him, so I dodge the... Oh. 
Alright, so he turns to stone, and I get... So this is the final boss. This was the final boss. But the game is not over. So... Now, I'm going to collect the crown. Which is in Lake Deep. Oh, I, I'm usually able to get to, but uh, we're at the end of the game. The game, there's no reason really. I used to use the invincibility thing here sometimes as a kid, but not necessary. All right, so now we need the combination. Since I've been doing a lot of stupid things today, uh, I have to remember it. So, uh, so I'm not gonna take any chances. Let's look at it again. So it's. Sun, wave, moon, star, sun, moon, wave, fish, star, fish, sun, wave, moon, star, sun, moon, wave, okay, so, moon, star, sun, moon, wave, fish, star, fish, and there it is, the crown. I'm about to beat Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Just gonna have to jump over these spikes. And here we have it. Alex Kidd in Miracle World for you. The heroic action taken by Alex Kidd resulted in the downfall of Jack and the Great and the return of peace and tranquility to Redaction. In a dazzling coronation, Eagle, his elder brother, became the king of Redaction. The citizens who were turned into stone reverted back to human beings through the power of the crown. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alex was overjoyed that he was able to use his martial arts skills for the good of the citizens. Some doubt still lingers in his mind as to whether or not all of the sinister enemy forces were actually destroyed. Added to this fear is the uneasiness he feels because of the fact that the whereabouts of his father, King Sander, is still unknown. I'm supposed. I, I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be King Thunder, but it was a, a, a mis a mistranslation. Okay, so that was Alex Kidd and Miracle World for you. Uh, the ending, there's nothing special, just a scrolling text, uh, which is a shame. Uh, but it's a very fun game, one of the favorite games, if not my favorite game of all time. Uh, if you have to play one Master System game in your life, if you've never played a Master System game, you can choose one to play, this is it. This is the classic, this is the Sega mascot at the time, this is the most popular game for the system at the time. So, Alex Kidd in Miracle World. See you guys next time, talk to you. Uh, thank you for watching. See ya.